Hello everyone, welcome to this Zensum tutorial video. Today we will be talking about customizing your enterprise dashboards and how to craft them for your needs. Our engineers work hard to maintain an intuitive interface despite the complexity of data because at Zensum we believe that data is useless unless it's accessible. So when you log into Zupervisor, you will land on the Dashboard tab. In the Dashboard tab you will get an overview of most sections of the system displayed in line charts. Bar charts. Tables. And shortcuts. Every widget and chart is customizable and can be swapped, resized, or changed to suit your preference. To edit the dashboard, simply click on the Edit button accessible in the main menu on the left side of the dashboard. Once you activate Edit Mode, you can select the dashboard you want to edit, and select the widgets you want to add. Select your desired widget from the list, and then press the Add button. You are now able to see the new widget at the bottom of the dashboard. To support maximal customization, the dashboard allows you to choose between 6 to 2 different widgets and create multiple different dashboards to have quick access to each dataset. Each user can have up to 20 custom dashboards on each overview page, and each dashboard can consist of 30 widgets in total. You can also move widgets around or scale them up and down with the easy drag feature at the bottom right of each widget. All widgets' data are based on the selected organization. You can choose if you want to see the entire organization's data by selecting the top parent organization. You can also choose to only show one specific organization. If one specific organization is chosen, the title will be displayed here. For table widgets, it is possible to change the limit of results from 5. and up to 100 rows. For bar and donut charts, it is possible to show or hide the labels and values by changing the settings at the top of the chart. When in edit mode, you can also activate or turn off the shortcuts. When you are satisfied with your new dashboard, you click on the Save button on the top right side of the view. When saving, you have the option to either save the dashboard as a new custom dashboard, or, if it's a pre-existing dashboard, you can simply press Save to update it or create a new dashboard. Once you have clicked Save, your new dashboard will be activated, and you can now find it in the dashboard list. The Zupervisor platform also makes use of several default dashboards for common organizational needs. For example, in the Software tab, you can find a default dashboard focusing primarily on software data. You can also find a dashboard for licenses. a dashboard for contracts, a dashboard for computers, a dashboard for users, a dashboard for data center, and a dashboard for security center. The ability to customize your enterprise dashboard ensures that you're getting actionable insights that drive informed decision-making, cost savings, and compliance with supervisor. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos from Zensum.